Hey guys, Caesar here. What is up, guys? Here I have for you guys is going to be a 51 gun streak with the FAD on the map Siege, playing some solo ground war domination on the PlayStation 4. And <clears throat> this is actually a video that's going to be going up on my channel and the Doom Clan channel. And it has been a long ass time since I've made a video on the Doom channel. Um, I, as most of you guys know, I've been kind of inactive in terms of YouTube lately. And I'm really glad to be back. Never and I, the OG duo, we are glad to be back and posting gameplays and commentaries on the Doom Clan channel. And uh, this is the first one that we're going to be doing in uh, quite a while. Actually, never did have a gameplay up a few weeks ago, but don't really want to bore you guys on that because I know most of you guys don't even care. But, anyways, 51 Gun Streak on the map Siege, which is a map that you really, really don't ever see. And it's on the PlayStation 4 Ground War Domination, which is kind of unique. And it's with the FAD, which is my personal opinion, my favorite weapon in Call of Duty Ghosts. It's a really, really good weapon, a lot better than it was in Modern Warfare 3. It has a very, very manageable recoil, has a high rate of fire, high accuracy, high damage. Overall, I think it's personally the best assault rifle in the game. Maybe the Remington is a little better, but if not, this is the second best. So anyways, guys, um... It is a little bit of a longer gameplay today, but hopefully that is okay, and I do have a quick little commentary topic that I want to discuss today, and that was just going to be kind of like a recap of, you know, how Call of Duty Ghost has, like, uh, you know, since it's come out, how it's sort of uh, evolved in the pub stomping community, the type of gameplays that we've been seeing, and the type of, uh, you know, like before Call of Duty Ghost came out, the type of gameplays that we thought we were going to maybe see, and then what we actually saw, so... Obviously, you know, we thought Call of Duty Ghosts was going to be sort of like a mix of Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2. It turns out that it's completely different. You know, when it came out, no one realized exactly how different it was than Modern Warfare 3. Yes, it had Specialist, but Specialist wasn't even close to the same thing that it was. Uh, the maps were completely different. The design of the game was different. There was no ground war. You know, the, the support, the whole idea of support was completely reinvented. And Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, people thought, you know, it's going to be like exactly like Modern Warfare 3. We're going to go for, you know, triple quad penta chem strikes. Uh, but it, it turns out that this game is primarily a solo game. And also, by the way, this gameplay is solo. Uh, but another thing is that, you know, Call of Duty Ghosts, a lot of the gameplays that you see are solo, especially here on the Doom Clan channel. One of the things that we strive for is all solo gameplays, or maybe, you know, one to two man parties. But, you know, it's, it's really interesting to see that, like, it's not really what people thought it was. Because people thought Ghost was going to be exactly like Modern Warfare 3. It just, it was going to be a next gen game, you know. They thought you're going get, to be getting, you know, quad and penta chem strikes every game. But it turns out that it's not that way. I mean, double chem strikes. While, you know, yes, people are getting them, there's still, you know, a challenge for a lot of people, and it just shows that this game, it's definitely a little harder than Modern Warfare 3, and it definitely takes a little more skill, in my personal opinion. Some people will argue, but uh, Modern Warfare 3 is pretty easy, to be honest with you. I mean, as long as you had a headset, dead silence, and sit rep, you could get pretty much a Moab every game in that game. So, you know, to me, like I just said about a hundred million times already, you know, it's just interesting to see how uh, the community sort of thinks a game is going to be, and then how it actually turns out to be. And it's sort of this whole thing, and we really see it, you know, when people get so hyped over Call of Duty, and then it comes out, and then their whole... Uh, they get all disappointed about it, and, you know, a lot of people lately have been saying stuff like, you know, Black Ops 2 is the best Call of Duty, even though... Just a few months ago, we were saying how bad of a game it was, so, you know, that's just the funny thing about the community, is that we can never really agree on one sort of set thing, and, um, I don't know, it's just kind of funny, so, uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about for that. Uh, another thing that I just wanted to mention is the fact that, is, you know, that Call of Duty itself is, is sort of dying lately, and it's something that we've been seeing as a trend, uh, I think there's a lot of channels um, who have been sort of inactive, you know, my channel is a perfect example, mine and Never's channel, but, um, you know, you can really see that there's a lot of channels who have gone inactive because of Ghosts, and have really said that this was the last straw for Call of Duty, and, you know, now there's a lot of other FPS games coming out, like Titanfall, which I personally know nothing about, so, you know, don't ask me anything about that, but, you know, there's a lot of hype for that, you know, I know our clan leader, Jay Nasty, he's really excited about that game, and, um, you know, we'll just have to wait, and wait and see, to see if that game will save the, you know, first-person shooter, the FPS community, or slash the, uh, just genre of gaming, um, you know, obviously the Xbox One and the PS4 just came out, so there's like a whole new set of games, but, you know, it's just really interesting to see how, even though as the, you know, we go into the future and technology advances, 
video games, it seems like they used to be better than they are now, which is, you know, it's always kind of funny to think of it like that. So anyways, thanks for watching the video, just kind of a rant on just about everything, and thank you so much for watching, make sure to subscribe to the Doom Clan, like this video if you enjoyed, come and check out mine and Ever's channel and both of our Twitters in the description below. We have a lot of great Call of Duty Ghosts gameplays and commentaries coming your way. Um, yeah, that was a really fast outro, probably should have made that a little longer, but anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, guys.